Hi everybody, welcome back to Synthetic Biology 1. Today, we're going to talk about a very practical skill that you'll use every day in the lab. Calculating dilutions. So, what volume of a given 10 millimolar stock solution is required to make 20 mils of a 50 micromolar solution? Are you bored yet? Me too. But when you're working in the lab, this kind of problem comes up every day. Somehow, nothing is ever at the concentration you need. Before we begin, let's remember our metric prefixes. In biology, there's three that we use all the time. Milli indicates division by 1,000, or 10 to the third. Micro indicates division by 1 million, or 10 to the sixth. That Greek letter is called mu, by the way. And nano indicates division by 1 billion, or 10 to the ninth. Once you use these enough, they'll start to become second nature. Okay, now let's do some math and we'll figure this one out. The official method for doing this calculation makes use of the conservation of mass. We're starting with a small amount of solution at a high concentration, and we end up with a large amount of solution at a low concentration, but the total amount of diluted stuff stays equal. This fact allows us to write the following equation. The starting concentration times the starting volume equals the final concentration times the final volume. So to calculate the starting volume, we divide both sides by the starting concentration. It turns out we need, we need 0.1 mils or 100 microliters in a total volume of 20 mils. Another way to think about this calculation is to focus on the dilution factor. I start with 10 millimolars and I want to go to 50 micromolar. So that means I want a 1 to 200 dilution. The final volume I want is 20 mils, so 20 divided by 200 is 0.1 mils. For some people, breaking the calculation into two steps like this, it just makes the arithmetic easier. When you start out in the lab, you should probably do these calculations on paper. Even if you're a super cool math dude like me, it's easy to make a mistake and screw up your experiment. Now after I finish this calculation, I would measure out my, my 20 mils of water and add my 0.1 mil of concentrated solution. But remember that this is wrong. Bad. Bad. In this problem, we wanted the total volume to be 20 mils. If we do it my way, we'll end up with a volume of 20.1 mils. But I'm lazy, it's hot. Usually it's just easier to measure the added volume rather than the total volume. Besides, uh, the total volume error in this case is less than 1%. Biology is not rocket science. There are very few experiments that will be hurt by 1% error. So I won't tell if you won't. Okay, until next time, happy diluting.